Oh yeah, what's up guys? It's Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm with TGN TV guys, and today I am getting it done in Blood Furnace. Hell yeah, guys. I am rolling through here with a bunch of buddies from my guild. Yep. Uh Scenarian Guard on Spirestone. Before I get into some of the rotations and addressing some of the comments that you guys left me, which I extremely appreciate, by the way. Um, real quickly here, guys, um, I'm part of a guild here. Hengus started it up, uh, and uh, it's on Spirestone, it's Alliance, and the name is Scenarian Guard. So, come on down if you want to make a tune and roll with us. It doesn't really matter what level you are, as long as you're pretty cool. That's all that matters, and now we're about to meet our maker, who is strangely called the maker. So in this one here, guys, I am an off tank. Uh, basically, uh, the main tank is, uh, who the frig was it in this one? I think it's Velk, whatever the hell his name is. Um, he's the main tank. I am a DPS slash tank, uh, and that is why you'll notice that I'm in Frost. Uh, normally I would be in blood and I'd be trying to take all the aggro I can, but, uh, this time I'm in frost trying to do a little extra damage, and, uh, Valkyrus, or whatever the hell his name is, I can't really pronounce it correctly, he's really badass as a tank, um, so, yeah, it's pretty good. So he's gonna go ahead, I like his sword, man, look at that fucking thing, it's huge. Um, no homo, but, yeah, that's a pretty big sword. Um, I didn't say pork sword, cause that would be, yeah, wrong, but it's just a regular sword. So I just got uh, um, Turbulent Necklace of the something or other. No, Librum of Saints Departed. Now that's a pretty cool sounding uh, friggin' item if you ask me, man. Like, I mean, I, I can't really... I'm still not 100% sure what uh, the best stats are. And I know this, the, stats, the best stats in uh, PvE are not necessarily the best stats in... Um, PvP, and I'm stating the obvious here, guys. But uh, I mean, for the newer you, for the newer uh, DKs and newer players, um, it never hurts to you know address the basics. Plus, you know, if I'm wrong, you guys will correct me. I'm sure, and uh, that never that never hurts. So, uh, anyways, moving on. I got turbulent necklace of the something, and I got garot string necklace. Uh, going up attack power. Going down strength. Going down hit rating. Going up critical strike rating. So what? Honestly, what are the differences between, you know, hit rating versus critical strike rating versus, you know, increasing your strength, or pardon me, losing strength, losing stamina, but hitting, you know, but increasing your critical hit rating. Uh, guys, I am not, I'm, I'm still a little fuzzy on that area. Uh, I was told that the item I just picked up is very good for a DK, but uh, I still have to try and figure out the various, um, the... The specifics of the of the various attributes so uh, guys weigh in on that if you don't mind and I do apologize again for not being the most adept uh, player out of everyone here at uh, TGN um, like I said I play for fun man like you know I'm a casual player real, real quickly here guys I work uh, I work downtown in Vancouver and you know what I commute an hour and a half to work I commute an hour and a half home from work I'm there eight and a half hours a day so I am busy the first 12 hours of every day I am gone at least 12 hours sometimes more and I'm not trying to make excuses or mitigate you know things but I'm a casual gamer because I have to be I mean I can't I can't be as good as uh, you know some of the other guys who who do this full time and you know kudos to them because you know people often look down on gamers and say oh yeah you're a gamer you're a fucking whatever but you know what man I've never met a gamer who logged into the you know whatever they like to play and go oh fuck I can't believe I gotta go log in and play my game. You know why they don't do that? Because they enjoy what they do. And that's something that's really important. Like, I'm not a, I'm gonna preach some sort of philosophy here, but if you find something in life that you like to do, then fucking do it. As long as you're not hurting people and you're not, you know, a bad person and you're out fucking things up, uh, you know what, man? Have fun. Play your goddamn character. Enjoy it while you can, man. You're only, you're here to... You're here to have fun and be happy and, you know, tell a couple jokes. Oh, wait, that's me, but uh, you know what? That's the one thing I learned in, you know, in these years. Uh, like I said in a previous video, guys, I started playing in 2004. And, uh, I mean, I started playing right when this fucker popped. Like, you know, like two weeks after it came out, I was on the servers. And and uh, I had a character name, uh, well, he had some inappropriate name, but I got force changed. 
And I got Force changed into Miranan, so it might even exist on the Armory still. I don't even know. Uh, but I was Miranan, and then I had a, a, a mage called Anvil, A-N-N-E-V-I-L-L-E. -E. Uh, and with those characters, I ran huge guilds, uh, old school and shit like that. Um, on Shadow Song, I ran a huge one on um, Fizzcrank. And I met lots of people, and, you know, I'm recounting what I said earlier, but long story short, um, I eventually got a job in finance, left my work, uh, left Warcraft because I was working 12, 14-hour days and, you know, six days a week because that's what the financial world demands. And I made a ton of money, but I hated my life. And anyways, I got laid off, and then I had to figure out what I want to do with my life. And one of the things I really like to do is play games. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. I mean, I read a lot of books. You know, I do stand-up comedy, and this isn't me showing off or seeking your approbation. I'm just telling you how it is for me. And uh, you know what? I don't make anywhere near as much money as I used to make. But you know what? I'm happier now. Fuck it. You know, man, I fucking... I got lots of friends. I tell jokes. I play video games. You know what? Man, my life's better now, despite the fact that, you know, I can't buy all that fancy shit. But who cares, man? Fuck it. At least we're having fun, so... Long story short, man, just do what makes you happy, makes you feel happy, as long as you're not hurting people. Um, with that out of the way, uh, that was a unsolicited aside, in, as they say in, <laughs> in drama. You guys didn't ask to hear that, but I just felt like sharing it, so there you go. Um, whatever, moving on. So I got a bunch of people here that want to join the guild uh, on Shadow Song. Guys, we don't have any limits in terms of, you know, number of players and stuff like that or what level you got to be. We're not uh, an elitist guild or anything like that. Uh, we've got a lot of elite players, but you know what? We we bring people in based on, you know, whether or not they're cool. If you're cool and, you know, you like to, you know, you like to just roll with the team and you like to do dungeons and get in the videos and shit like that, man, just join up. Have a good time. Fuck it. Hang out with Hangus. Hang out with Big C. Um, hang out with Poggy, a bunch of us, we're all on there rolling, so, um, yeah, come on down, man, add me, my real ID is Curtis at FromAnywhere.com, so, if you want to add me, go right ahead, I talk to everybody, <laughs> yes, okay, so, while I still got you here, um, like I said, guys, I am the off tank in this one, so I am not main tank, um, so, it, there's, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is, you know, I haven't done a video on the Blood Furnace, uh, so, at least not that I can recall, and I don't even know if TGN has a Blood Furnace video, so, I mean, there's probably some value in that. You're going to notice that I just hit the switch, and uh, they were manning up. That's called being a dink, and I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> I just thought I hit the switch, because I thought we were ready to go, so uh, that was a big C, uh-oh. <laughs> but they didn't get mad, because, uh, well, you know, it's, it's our guild, and they're cool, so, um, yeah, my bad. Um, they're trying to get mana, but whatever, fuck it. I done made a mistake. Poor Nerdfried, or whatever his name is, uh, I can't read it here. Yeah, I fucked his mana recovering uh, operation up a little bit, but whatever, man. I'm Big C, I burn shit down, I, I go in, you know, where other people won't go, I'll go in head first. And, uh, if you like the sound of that, ladies... <laughs> um, okay, fell orc neophytes, whatever, fuck them. Okay, so when I get a big mob like this, I usually drop a D&D &D down. That was a suggestion that was made to me. Um, it got made by multiple people, so I can't really single one person out on it. But, uh, you know, that, that gets some aggro for me, and it does some damage, obviously. Not being the tank in this... Uh... Oh, and that's me telling myself off there, by the way. Uh, but not being a tank in this one is actually a little awkward for me, because... I don't know how to be, like, DPS and shit like that. Like, I'm used to, you know, trying to pull pull the mobs and keep them, you know, angry at me. And in real life, guys, I am a fucking pro at that. Like, you can't even imagine how good I am at that in real life. But in game, you know what? I do need tips on how to, you know, pull in the aggro and shit like that. I've got uh, tidy plates, threat plates on. So I, I was explained uh, earlier today that, you know, based on the color... Oh, Brogok. Oh, <laughs> look at this ugly bastard. Um, nice face, buddy. You're gonna need to see a dentist, too. Uh, nice fucking eyeball. Looks like a... Come on, Cyclops. Polyphemus. I'm gonna call him Polyphemus. If you've read the Odyssey, uh, Polyphemus is the name of the Cyclops, and, uh, what a great book. Um, but whatever. Uh, and he's Poseidon's son, and that's why Odysseus gets fucked with. Uh, but, uh, that's not 
interesting for this video. But anyways, uh, just another little aside there. So anyways, yeah. So I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a off tank here. Uh, this run, guys. I'm gonna be honest. Is really effing easy. Like it just feels like I'm playing handball or something. Like really, like this is like it feels special needs. And I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't know if this dungeon's been nerfed or what. But fuck, man, we just run through this. Like. It's not even it's not even remotely challenging and and uh, you know what that kind of upsets me because you know what I want to challenge I want to die sometimes I want to get my ass beat and I realize that you know things will probably get harder as I move up uh, just so you know I mean I am pretty close to leveling up here but you know it just feels too bloody easy so I don't know hopefully when I get to level uh, a couple levels more I can start getting to some real serious shit but. Uh, not so far. So, um, I want to say thanks to you guys also for the videos you guys left me. Uh, I had a bunch of video responses, and I really like that. Like, I mean, I love comments and stuff like that, and I try my best to read them. Well, I do read them all, but I try to respond to as many as I can before uh, YouTube starts killing me on the captures. They're like, okay, Big C, you can't leave, like, 500 messages, you know. You, you might be a robot, and, well, whatever, I am, but, uh, yeah, no, but one of the things that I really like is uh, when you guys make, you know, response videos of, hey, this is me in in showing you my blood tanking, uh, my blood rotation or whatever, or my whatever it is. Like, this is how you use this add-on, or, or, I mean, you know, here's my macros. Those kind of things. Those kind of things, uh, I repeat myself, Captain Obvious, doubling up. But those kind of things actually really help me. And I, and I, a couple things. First thing is I watch them all. Second thing, even if it's not a good video, they, they always are, but if it isn't, I don't care. I still thumbs it up. I still leave a message, and, you know, I, I also approve every single video that you guys do uh, because I find that, you know, if I have a popular channel like the TG and WoW channel or, you know, my own personal channel is not very popular, but, um, you know, I don't have that much content on it. Well, it's, it's starting to, you know, I'm starting to get a lot of content on it. Don't get me wrong. So... But I, I try to approve the videos and leave a message and send, you know what, I try and send the fans and subs your way, you know, so, um, you know, if you guys are going to help me, I'm going to do what I can to help you back, so uh, definitely appreciate that kind of thing, uh, appreciate when I can pronounce my consonants, um, and uh, yeah, the next thing I want to start doing, guys, I want to start looking at individual uh, add-ons and um, perhaps even some macros, I don't have any macros yet, I'm still low level uh, DK, so maybe it's still a bit premature. <laughs> premature macrulation, um, or whatever the fuck I want to call it. Um, but uh, it might be still a bit premature. But if you've got some macros, you know, or if you've got uh, even better, if you got some add ons, uh, let me know what add ons you use. That's awesome. And then, you know what? Make a video, maybe if you, and this is up to you, of course. But if you got a video saying, hey, Big C, this is how you use threat plates this is what you need to look at you know and then maybe annotate it or something or um you know say hey i've got uh fucking spell flash or bartender for whatever it is you use i mean i'm cool with whatever but uh yeah annotate them maybe you know do some shit like that because i want to start getting into that and making those videos for tgn wow and uh, if you guys do those videos and they're good i mean i will thumbs them up of course and you know you never know i might even put one on TGN WoW if you guys want that because whatever I run the fucking thing so why can't I uh why can't I do that of course I can <laughs> um so yeah so definitely uh do that for me too if, if that's something you're interested in um right now I'm looking at how in the hell to use uh threat meters I, I really don't know how to manage my aggro worth shit um you guys can tell that if you know how to play you'll notice that I'm you know not real shit hot at that and being a tank it's pretty important that I keep people upset at me so you know what that's something I want to I want to do a video on um, uh, that's probably a good one to start with I'm not very good with bartender 4 and I've looked at some of the videos on the net and I haven't really seen any that really explain it very well to me like I understand the concept and I can you know move around shit and stuff like that but if you guys are good with Bartender 4, definitely do a video up on that if you want. Uh, I'll approve it, like I said. And, uh, you know, I'll try and send some fans your way. And uh, that's about it, guys. This uh, video is just an opportunity for me to jibber-jabber. I apologize, uh, you know, for, for not, you know, being all that instructive or 
edifying in it, but just so you know, 